Hey guys, what is going on? It is Daboki here once again, and it's time for a Maple Monday. It is January 14th, 2012, and <laughs> we are having a great Monday. So before we get started with the news, I want to go ahead and just talk a little bit about the Maple Monday submissions, um, and go ahead, of course, and show them off to you guys, because this is a really favorite part of my Maple Mondays, is actually getting your guys' Maple Monday submissions and just putting them up for you guys. I really enjoyed looking at them, and thank you guys so much who submitted them. And again, guys, um, I'm sorry if I did not put your submission up. Send it to thedeboki at gmail.com. So my email has been a little bit weird lately, so I did almost lose a few of your guys' submissions, but I did try to get all of them on here. Uh, but just in case if you guys didn't see it on this Maple Monday submission, go ahead and submit it to my email again. It's thedeboki at gmail.com. And I'll go ahead and post all of that stuff in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and submit a Maple Monday submission and of course if you guys are wondering what a Maple Monday submission is it's just anything Maple Story related if you want to draw something make something create something um, anything Maple Story related again you guys can go ahead and send it to my email and I'll go ahead and show it off in a Maple Monday alright guys so this Maple Monday I do want to go ahead and talk about something very exciting that's coming out for GMS Global Maple Story um, as we know uh, probably you guys probably seen some news around here and there but really Rue Abyss is coming out for Maple Story. GMS, actually, to be exact. Now, if you guys don't know who Rue Abyss is, I talked about this in a previous Maple Monday. It was about the new bosses that are coming out for Maple Story. We, of course, had Pierre, Von Bon, Crimson Queen, and, of course, your guys' favorite, the Vellum Giant Worm. Now, four new bosses coming out with this Rue Abyss patch, and plus, it's going to come with a little, I guess, world-type thing. Um, it's like has almost like an Alice in Wonderland theme to it. And I want you guys to go ahead and watch this trailer. Now personally, I'm pretty excited for this update because I am always excited to see new bosses. And you know what guys comes with new bosses is new drops, new equipment, new items and rewards. So I'm really excited to see that, what they're going to have to offer for those. So I was on Twitter the other day. If you guys, by the way, if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter. I guess that means go ahead and do so. I'll put the link in the description as well. But that wasn't the point. I said the point is that I was on Twitter and I, MapleStory tweeted something about why we are getting Root Abyss first. Because usually Korean MapleStory gets everything first, right? Because stuff comes from KMS. This is kind of like a slap in the face for KMS almost because um, we're receiving their content before they are. Because indeed, guys, they had this information before we did. So this is why, and I'll go ahead and post this website in the description below as well but it says that the reason why GMS is receiving Root Abyss first is because we released the three classes Angelic Buster, Kaiser, and Luminous quicker than they did when they were releasing it. Uh, we did it more in a condensed form. They kind of took their time with it and really dragged it out so we released our three classes really quickly which of course I'm not complaining. You know it's nice to see that GMS is actually receiving a patch before KMS and it's always cool to see that and you know EMS got Kaiser before GMS did which was awesome to see and all these things are kind of like falling into place so we're actually like keeping up with each other which is cool we're like doing this like leapfrog thing and another thing on this website that I want to go ahead and mention is the next thing below it says what do you think players will like most about Rue Abyss and this is what got me because well as you notice on the second line here it says the bosses also drop unique hats and chairs Ooh. <laughs> chairs my friends chairs that is right you guys know that I love to collect chairs and anything with a chair in it I will try to go receive so definitely you can see me on the battlefield trying to get myself a nice chair to sit in
other than that, I'm pretty excited to see what these bosses have to offer. Um, as you notice on this picture of Crimson Queen, it looks really scary. Uh, she's got two faces on, and they said that definitely players are in for a surprise when they meet the Crimson Queen for the very first time because, well, there is something strange about her. Not only does she have two sides, but she has one head. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You know, something else that I read about these bosses that they're trying to make a little bit more unique. Um, of course, it's going to be the same concept. You know, you got to hit it, kill it, fight it, all that kind of stuff, get in a party. But they have it so that you guys are wearing hats, apparently. Um, these different colored hats will go ahead and mean you can attack this boss at the certain color that the boss is in. So if you're wearing a red hat and the boss turns red, you can't attack it. Someone with the blue hat in your party has to attack it. What does it mean? I don't know. But it's going to come out very soon. And you guys are probably also wondering, when is this coming out? Well, it's coming out on the 16th, guys. So that is very soon. You guys can go in and check it all out on the MapleStory website. It says, Evil Goes Underground on January 16th. Root Abyss. I know this is another, like, power-hungry patch, I could call it. <laughs> it's one of those patches that it's going to have more items coming out from MapleStory, more weapons, um, potentially more hackers to try to go ahead and defeat these bosses quickly um, and try to farm these items. But hopefully they did a good job to make it so that these bosses are hard enough and these items will actually be good enough to go ahead and sell and actually be worth selling in the free markets. Because, like, who really buys Zakum Helms anymore, you know? It's like, it's not really worth scissoring them. It's not really worth trying to sell them unless they have really awesome potential on it. But that's about it. Again, I want a way to make mesos in the game without spending real money in the game. Other than that, guys, I'll leave you guys the suggestions about the Root Abyss, your guys' thoughts, I guess, on it in the comments below. Uh, we're receiving this very soon here, so it's going to be in a couple days. Um, you'll definitely be seeing some videos on my channel and, of course, a lot of other people's channels. But yes, and don't forget your Maple Money submissions for you guys that do want to submit it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Maple Monday. I hope you guys are going to have a great week, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye! Because the airs are cleaner for you.